Hello everybody and welcome to the big day, publishing day. We are going to start with a pause and think. As you can tell, I finally learned how to use some word art and I even learned how to draw using my finger on my, my screen because it's a, um, a touch screen with glitter. So cool. Got a little carried away with my stars there. Um, we began the unit talking about what makes a poem a poem. And that's a question that many poets themselves have tried to answer. So I want you to follow along on the next slide with me as I read to you some of the poet's definition of poetry. So what makes a poem a poem? You can pause and think on it briefly, but we're gonna do more with this question here. So here are some poet quotes about what is poetry. Poetry is things that are true expressed in words that are beautiful. It takes probably hundreds of things coming together at the right moment to make a poem. Poetry is a painting that is felt rather than seen. That one's by Da Vinci. Poetry is the rhythmical creation of beauty in words. I know it's a poem if it blows the top of my head off. <laughs> so I want you to take a moment and you can pause on the screen if you want to reread these on your own. But now I'm curious, what did you think about as you read those poets' definitions of poetry? What definitions did you agree with or disagree with and why? And you can click back and reread them if you want to have them up on your screen as you think. But I really want you to thoughtfully consider this. Take about a minute to really answer these questions. Go ahead and pause. Now it's time for a quick write. You probably guessed it. How do you answer the question, what is poetry? This is a question that's going to be different for everybody. There is no wrong answer. And it might be something that you don't really know the answer to yet. So what I would encourage you to do is start writing and don't let your pencil lift from the paper until your five minutes are up because some of our best ideas flow freely. Don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about any of that. I just want you to write for five minutes. What is poetry? Go. Now it's officially writing time. It's a short video for you today. So for your independent writing today, I want you to create your own slide on Office 365 to be used in our class slideshow. So here's how this is gonna work. You're gonna log into your Office 365 account. Many of you have been writing your poems on there already. You are going to make a new PowerPoint slideshow. If you've already been typing your poems, you'll just be able to copy and paste your poem into the slide. If you're not, that's fine. You're going to create a new slideshow and then you are going to um, type your poem on that one slide. You are only making one slide, just one. Um, when you type your poem, you're gonna spice it up. Try to experiment with shape, um, colors, slide designs, word art. Um, I, if you go to the insert tab at the top, there's a bunch of fun options up there. If you go to the design tab, like we've done in class many times before, the design ideas will pop up on the right side and give you some formatting options. Um, you can insert shapes, you can insert pictures, all that good stuff. Um, really try to make yours stand out and make it special and maybe reflect your poem and your personality. You're going to, of course, share this PowerPoint slide to me by going to the top right hand corner and clicking share and typing in my name the way that you have before. Make sure you type my full name, Olivia, not Liv, and then my last name, Poirier, P-O-I-R-I-E-R, -E and you're going to send it to me. I am then going to take every per a slide from every single person and create a new slideshow and send it back out to you. I can see if I can post it on Schoology or I'll just send it to your family's email accounts. It's super important that you all save your um, slide as final draft poem by blank, okay? 
I want everyone to have the same name, final draft poem by, and then your first name. The reason is I get so many emails a day you would not believe. And especially getting all of your writing things, I, I just move them into a folder. So if I see it's called final draft poem, I'm gonna move it into my folder of final draft poems. Please send this to me by Sunday night if you want to have this in the class slideshow. So today is Friday, if you're following along, try to get this to me by Sunday night. I can't promise it'll be in the slideshow if it's not to me by Sunday. And I believe the date on Sunday is, let's see, today's, well, I'm recording this early. You should be watching this on a Friday. You have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, okay? Um, I'm so excited to see what you make and what poems you've decided to work on. And um, I can't wait for you to read each other's work. What a cool way for us to be able to connect and share our work with each other. It's gonna be really special. Eee, go bees!